So you have entered an audit contest. You spent hours reading the code, but at the end, you got no findings, maybe few low severity issues here and there. Meanwhile, other auditors walk away with thousands of dollars. What's the difference? It's not luck and it's not a secret tool. It's simply strategy. I've interviewed in this channel four pro auditors who constantly win in contests. And I've boiled down their three contest strategies into the ultimate contest playbook. So if you feel stuck in your contest performance, you need to hear this. These three strategies could completely change the way you approach your next auditing contest. So without further ado, let's get started. By the way, if you are new here, my name is Johnny and I'm an educator in the Web3 security space. If you want to get exposed to more awesome content, make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video. So let's start with the first strategy, the understanding phase. The biggest mistake beginners make in auditing contests is that they are starting to hunt for bugs from day one, from the moment the contest begins. And the pros are doing the exact opposite thing. They spend 50 to 70% only in understanding the project and the structure of the contest. In the recent StarkNet Perpetual Contest in Codarina, these two high severity findings and these three medium severity findings, I'm sure that the researchers who found them and got paid for them, first they went thoroughly through the GitHub repository and through the code. I recently interviewed Arsen, one of the smart contract hacking course students that is killing it in auditing contest. And he said that in his recent audit contest that he won, he produced a 13 page document that he created from scratch, all full with his notes, diagram and details about the project that he's auditing. Before you are able to find those high lucrative bugs, you need to create a map in your mind. And map literally means understanding every single aspect of the code base. So stop looking for bugs and start looking for understanding what the project does. So Arsene was able to land the first place in this contest, in the Tron recent contest, just because he did that. But also, in addition, he had good fundamentals. Arsene is a graduate of the Smart Contract Hacking course, and without the required fundamentals and the skills, he wouldn't be able to find and report these critical bugs. If you also want to join the course and a training program, check out the link in the description below to get your free trial. Strategy number two, the power of singular focus. The next one was a breakthrough for several of the auditors I interviewed on my channel, especially Milo Truck, you probably heard of him, and he told me that he was getting mediocre results until he changed this small simple thing. The change is that he stopped participating in three contests simultaneously, but instead he put all his time and effort on one contest at a time. And this is key because working on multiple contests at the same time is a recipe for a failure. You cannot do the deep understanding that we just talked about in tip one if you spend only one or two days in a contest. This takes time. And the point is that you have to pick one contest, commit to it fully and go deeper than anyone else. This is your competitive edge. Strategy number three hunt at the edges. This is where the real bugs live. So you are focused on one contest and you understand the project deeply. Where do you look for those critical bugs? So the people I interviewed in my channel, the pros, they told me that they live at the edges. So what does the edges mean? Edges are those complex integration points. How does the protocol communicate with an external oracle, for example? with an external AMM. What happens if we have weird tokens interacting with this protocol? And by the way, if you're not familiar with all the things that I said now, and they sound like a foreign language, you definitely need to check out the smart contract hacking training. 
So remember that competition that Arsene won, the guy that we talked about one minute ago? Well, the bugs that he found were not only in the logic of the code, but in the integration point with other protocol in those edge cases. So the bug that he found was actually when it comes to a contract that interacted with an external protocol that was out of scope. But the way that this integration worked, it was broken and it allowed him to exploit this vulnerability. And this is a pro level finding, not only in the contract itself, but also the integration with other protocols. So let's put it all together. And this is the playbook. First, you want to pick one contest at a time. Focus on one contest. Don't go all over the place. The second step is that you want to use the time to get deep level understanding of the protocol. Don't just jump and try to find bugs on day one or two. The third point is that you want to leverage this deep understanding that you got thanks to point one and two to find bugs in the edges, in the integration points, in the places where people miss. It's a system where each step enables the next, and this is how you move from finding those common low severity duplicate bugs to find those critical, more unique findings. So which strategies are you going to try first? Let me know in the comments below and feel free to share your own strategy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome Web3 security content. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.